You're watching the SEC on ESPN. Here at Sam Bailey Track and Field Stadium, it's where it's at, a 400-meter oval just ready for its star turn as it hosts the 2016 SEC Outdoor Track and Field Championships. A beautiful afternoon for track. Temperature in the low 80s, humidity, nothing to speak of. The wind at 14 miles an hour, that to me is just a freshening zephyr. Still sunscreen and Pedialyte, the recipe of the day as we get ready for the four by one. We look at the team standing on the women's side after 10 of 21 events. Georgia, seven points up on the defending champ, Arkansas. The four by one records that you need to know texas a m aggies have both the collegian and sec meet record best so far this season comes from the Florida gators though we will not see them for now we go up to the booth in the race called dwight stones and jill montgomery all right john thank you so much and we are going to focus our attention on the kentucky wildcats they will be starting in lane six they've got the fourth fastest time in the NCAAs this year. There are the personnel. We get these as uh, cards from their coaches a half an hour before the event. Doesn't mean they might not change their mind on who to run in what order, Jill. Well, and it looks like for Kentucky, Destiny Carter has been pulled off on third leg and Jasmine Camacho Quinn, the freshman phenom hurdler, is stepping in. LSU's personnel, they have the tie for the fifth fastest in the conference or in the, in the nation this year and Micaiah Briscoe very busy young lady today she'll be uh, running in this relay and that both the 100 hurdles and the 100 meter dash a little bit later there's how all the teams will line up with lane one being open there's already been a second uh, first section with just two teams in it both Missouri and South Carolina have already completed a race there are 14 teams in this conference the biggest glaring piece of information from this race no Florida four by 100 meter relay they have had been nicked up this season and when Shayla Saunders couldn't go in the hundred yesterday that was the end of their attempts in the four by 100 meter relay well, when you talk about for LSU Makaya Briscoe leading off right there you just saw her she's gonna be handing off to Courtney Johnson who is also a workhorse for LSU running in the 100 and 200 as well As I'm sure everyone knows, there are no false starts anymore, not at the high school level, the collegiate level, or the open level. False start, and you're gone. And quite the tongue lashing from your teammates if you do it. Action in the middle of the track, a and in five, Kentucky in six, LSU in seven. Watch for the baton passes, they are everything. They absolutely are. And this second leg actually running into a headwind, Dwight. We've seen the wind swirling out here quite a bit so far today. LSU with a much better pass and has to be considered the current leader. Decent pass for them there, a little safe. Changing hands for Kentucky. That's a no-no. LSU still in the lead. A decent pass as well there. Now it is up to Russell. Russell Harvey. And she is holding off for the win. 42.77, the flash time. We'll see how that compares to the official time. There's quite a discrepancy yesterday. They came in with a 43.20, so that would be a huge improvement. Well, and LSU had absolute brilliant stick passing. There is a zone that you have to pass through, and LSU goes right in that zone. Her hands right back, doesn't stay up long. Clean passes, and getting that stick around this track is what makes this race so seamless. Again, from two to three, seamless for LSU, as well as they did going into their fourth leg, as you can see on the top left of your screen. Texas A&M had a nice pass as well but not enough juice to outrun LSU. That was Aaliyah Brown for a and on the anchor, but no way of catching Rochelle Harvey, the junior from LSU. So they are on the board in day three with 10 points in the relay, 42.77. That is very close to the collegiate best run by Oregon earlier this year a and m close behind in 42 94 kentucky with some very very suspect passes third in 43 55 as we go downstairs to our john anderson here with the anchor leg for the lsu here with the anchor leg for the lsu tigers rochelle harvey uh 42 77 you said who and we've been waiting on it what was the, what, what finally made you uh, get around the track with that time um good exchanges and 
trusting each other. You had to lead, you had to lead when they gave it to you. So so what are you thinking if you get the stick and the lead? Run. Run and do it. Win. Yeah. Uh the special having it over Texas A&M. It feels <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Always good. Thank you so much. 4277. That is quick once around, and we can tell you now the meet has started.